On behalf of Let's Love You Everything, I would like to welcome you today. For those of you who don't already know me, my name is Sari and I'm from Tamil Nadu. Now let's get started. Did you know there is an addiction to mobile phone and it's called nomophobia? Oh wait, you might be holding your phone at this very moment, are you? Today, I would like to discuss about the list of upcoming smartphones in India 2019 with their expected launch dates, expected prices and specifications. So let's begin our quest on finding new smartphones. First of what we have here is the Google Pixel 4. Google Pixel 4 smartphone runs on Android 10 operating system. The phone is powered by octa-core processor. It runs on Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 chipset like the Samsung S10 series. It has 6GB RAM and 64GB internal storage. Google Pixel 4 smartphone has an OLED display. On camera front device get a dual front camera and on the rear there is a 12 plus 16 plus 5 MP camera with features like auto flash, face detection, touch to focus and etc. Google Pixel 4 is likely to be priced at 70,000 Indian rupees which is most likely to be launched in the second week of October 2019. Next on the list is the most expected and awaited smartphone in India. Yes my friends, it's the OnePlus 7T Pro. With a responsive 90Hz refresh rate and the latest HDR10 Plus technology, the OnePlus 7T's fluid display is smooth and incredibly immersive. If it sounds too good to be true, then wait until you see it. Hardware is where OnePlus 7T Pro is likely to differ from its predecessor. The OnePlus 7 Pro offers a Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 chipset under its hood. The OnePlus 7 Pro has a triple rear camera, comprising of a 48MP main camera, 16MP ultra-wide camera and a 8MP telephoto camera. There is also a 16MP pop-up camera in the front. I am not sure about the launch date in India, but I am pretty sure that it's gonna launch on October 10th in London. Before moving on to our next time killer, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to comment down below. I am happy to answer any questions as we go along. Third on the list we have the Mate X by Huawei. Setting the standard for folding phone, the Mate X took a lot of people by surprise, throwing the Galaxy Fold into shade when it was unveiled at NWC 2019. The phone consists of three displays, primary, secondary and tertiary. The primary display is about 6.6 .6 inches, the secondary display is about 6.38 inches and the third display is around 8 inches. The Mate X runs on Android 9.0 and is powered by a 4500mAh battery. As far as the camera set concerned, the Mate X on the rear packs a 40MP primary camera, a second 16MP camera and a third 8MP camera. It is expected to launch on October 12 in India at around 186,000 Indian rupees. The phone which I am going to show you right now is especially for my Indian bros out there. Jio is planning to launch its Jio Phone 3 which is going to be priced at around 4500 Indian rupees. The Reliance Jio Phone is an entry level smartphone that comes with a good number of features. It has a nice display, a compact body that will provide you a good grip and can easily be carried. The storage of this device is also pretty good, however it may disappoint users in terms of camera but considering the price point it can be accepted. It comes with a 5 inch LCD display that gives an HD resolution further assisted by a 2GB RAM that helps for smooth functioning. It has a 2800mAh capacity that can provide ample power to last for a day. I hope this phone gets released really soon, I am waiting to get my hands on it. Last of what we have here is the MI Note 5 from our most budget friendly company Xiaomi. The phone is rumored to come with a 6.0 inch touchscreen display. MI Note 5 is expected to be powered by an octa-core Snapdragon 835 processor and comes with a 6GB of RAM. I don't have much to say about this phone, can't wait for it to get released. Sorry for going on so long, I know it can be a bit boring to listening to someone like me. But before winding up, if you guys like the video, feel free to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos. Until then, this is Hari signing off.